All right, now we're joined uh, via Zoom by Professor Hartmut uh, Winkler from the University of Johannesburg's uh, Faculty of Physics. He will be weighing in on Eskom's uh, electricity generating capacity. A very good afternoon to you, sir. Thanks uh, very much for availing ah. yourself to SABC News. Good afternoon. Well, we, we're not even fully into the winter season uh, as, as yet. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's just sort of become cold. And ESCOM is already uh, seemingly struggling to uh, keep the lights on. What's, what's the problem here based on uh, your observations? Yes, well, the, the problem is really that we have far too many breakdowns in the existing uh, 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 power stations. It's something like half of uh, what, what we have in this country. And to have, if half of it doesn't work, I, I think it doesn't matter where in the world we are, we are going to run into problems. And uh, these are largely the coal plants. And uh, they, the, the, the real reason they're breaking down is that they're simply too old. Many of them were supposed to have been uh, taken out of uh, commission years ago. But this hasn't happened because there hasn't been anything to replace them. Uh, so we're now really uh, uh, feeling the, what's, uh, the, the missed opportunities of, of building more uh, uh, generating plants mm. over the last five to ten years. And I'm afraid there's no quick fix to this. I think we in this for another uh, several years. And, uh, but what the country really needs now is to come up with some sort of a workable plan, not in the short term. There's very little we can do in the short term. We're really at the mercy of the whims of whenever uh, uh, these old power stations end up uh, causing a technical problem. But we need uh, to have some sort of plan where we can somehow uh, reach some kind of normality in about five years' time. I mean, and there are several ways of doing that, yeah. but we, we really need to uh, now actually put our heads down and come up with something uh, that will be fully supported by government. And, and At the and moment, I, it's, it's just too... And I wonder, Mr. Winkler, yeah. you know, as you're talking about uh, some of the infrastructure and uh, the problems that we're having with it, I mean, w from where you stand, is this a case of we replace or continue to repair? Sometimes it really is just a good idea mm -hmm. just to start from scratch. And I wonder what, 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 what you think of that i mean of course they both come with different kinds of uh, costs but if we're going to keep preparing uh, then that doesn't help whereas we could rather just uh, uh, replace altogether yes that's right the problem is if you want to replace depending on what kind of a power station you want to put up it's going to take anything between about two years uh, which is uh, what it takes to build a new solar plant or a new wind plant up to 10 years which is what would be a new nuclear plant or something that's as large as a kusile in medupi uh, I don't think we have time for uh, these these mega projects at the moment. The only realistic thing I, I, I can see that the country can do is to up its its wind and solar power. It's not going to help us in the in the short term, but it will help us uh, in 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 the medium term. And uh, to do that, uh, well, first of all, the country is supposed to be working according to a plan to build new. Uh, plants every year or so. Mm. We are something like two years behind what we are supposed to have been, according to the plan which was brought out in 2019. Apart from the fact that we need a new plan now, because the plan was in any case supposed to be changed every two years or so, and this hasn't happened, uh, it's, it's, it's a major shortcoming. Uh, we need to also see if we can't catch up on uh, what hasn't been done over the last couple of years. But yes, it's time for a new plan now. And uh, we need to start working on that now. Uh, I think there's also been too much uh, uh, politics in, in, in the whole energy sector, the question of what uh, technology do we want because of uh, uh, a number of, uh, of, of reasons which have nothing to do with what's best for the country. Yeah. I think we need to get away from that now. We need to just think of how do we manage this uh, crisis uh, how do we manage to get through the next five years? Yeah, uh, you know, every time that, you know, we're experiencing load shedding, you know, th th there's a number of excuses we're given. But one of the ones that uh, mm -hmm. particularly stand out uh, to me, and I've certainly heard uh, many South Africans on, on social media uh, making fun of it, but this issue of wet cold, you know, I've heard someone saying, why don't you just cover mm -hmm. it then? You know, if we know that there's going to be rains or there's going to be a problem, you know, why can we not fix that? But why is that even an excuse, the fact that there is wet cold? And then, of course, what you're talking about as well, mm -hmm. the issue of, um, maintenance and, and you know I wonder is there no way of planning maintenance without us having to go through what we're going through at the moment uh, yes well the issue with wet, wet cold yes it, we've had a couple of, of uh, unseasonally cold and wet days and it's true that at times like this uh, we are at a greater risk of, of load shedding than we would be otherwise uh, but uh, that's always going to happen at some point either so 
it, uh, the real problem is that we are short of generating capacity, and it's going. To, it's most likely to hit us when we end up uh, getting adverse weather conditions. Uh, but uh, that doesn't make mean that the adverse weather conditions should be uh, the excuse. It just explains why we it's maybe hitting us now rather than it hitting us in in, in a month's time or, or a month ago or so. Uh, so it, it's really that we have periods when we don't have load shedding, and it's it's a it's a matter of, of uh, just being lucky. Uh, it, it, it's times when we're experiencing serious load shedding, as we are now, and it's a case when we're unlucky. But it's it, that's that's just how the game rolls. We don't have a kind of a, a safety margin at the moment, and uh, so as a result, uh, these sort of things are just going to happen, and every now and then. And I think that's just the sort of situation we need to get uh, uh, be uh, uh, be getting ourselves ready with for the next uh, couple of years. All right. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Thank you for giving us uh, your input. Uh, we appreciate it, sir.